When we want to automate the deployment of resources into the Azure cloud, you can use the BICEP templates. We can deploy these BICEP templates from the Azure CLI using our console window. But we want to add a little bit more to this automation process. We want to make it really fully automated. So for that, we can use the CI CD pipelines. Follow me in this video to show you how we can deploy a BICEP template using a DevOps pipeline using GitHub Actions and Workflows. So to demo that, I have here this GitHub repository where I have few folders. One of them is for the BICEP template. This is my .bicep file that will go to create a web application and an app service using some parameters and some variables for configuring these two services. Then I have in the second folder, which is .github slash workflows, where uh, typically GitHub Actions saves the YAML files for these pipelines. Here you see I have actually two pipelines. Uh, I'll work you through this first pipeline in this video and in the next video we'll see the second one. The first pipeline is the easiest one actually or the simplest one. It have a name to deploy BICEP uh, template into Azure and then it will be triggered and each time I have a new pull request on my uh, main branch or I can also configure it and each time I have um, a push into the main branch. And then I added here workflow dispatch. This will allow me to run this pipeline manually using a button in from within GitHub Actions. Otherwise, I will not be able to launch it automatically. I can only run it if I have one of these triggers. Then in my pipeline, I can define environment variables. And that's what I have here with the resource group and web app name. I define uh, the name of the resource group that will be that I go to create from within this pipeline because I want to create the resource group. Then I want to deploy my BICEP template into this specific resource group. That BICEP template will go to create an Azure app service. So I specify here the name for my web app so that I'll be using it in my pipeline later. Then GitHub. A uh, pipeline contains a collection of jobs. So I have here one single job for this one, which is preview and deploy. So this job will run on an Ubuntu latest uh, uh, runner machine. And then the steps will be to start with getting the application source code through using the action checkout. And then I go to login to Azure using here uh, the action Azure slash login. And note here how, how, how I'm using here the credentials, which are secrets.azure credentials. What are these? So in order to connect to my Azure subscription, I should uh, go through a service principle. That's the easy, uh, that's the recommended way. Either we use a service principle or a managed identity. Managed identity is better, but for this demo, I just go to demo service principle. So we should create a service principle that have access to my Azure subscription or at least to the only resource group that I have that I want to deploy to. So if I switch here to my Azure subscription, if I go to the bash, we can go to create a service principle using the command line. And that's what I have done using AZ, AD, SP, create for airbag. Then I specify a name for my service principle, the role I want to give to that service principle. So here I want to give it the contributor role over all the uh, subscription. This means it will be inherited by all the resource groups from within that subscription. And then I add the flag SD, SDK dash path. Once that creates that uh, service principle, actually um, it will generate a JSON file uh, that contains the application ID and the application uh, secrets. And those files actually looks like this one that I have here. Uh, here is a sample output for that uh, command. So you should get client ID, client secret, uh, subscription ID, tenant, and so on. So we need to take uh, to copy this uh, value right here, this JSON file, and then use it as a secret, set it as a secret in GitHub Actions. How we can do that? We can go to settings from the same GitHub uh, project, and then we go to create a new repository secret. And so that's what I have done here with those two secrets. If I click here, new repository secret, I will, it will give me here a, a page where I can put the name of a secret and then its value. So I have pasted that value here and here should be my uh, subscription or my uh, uh, Azure uh, credentials actually. So I have saved that and that will add that new secret to me and that secret will be available for me to use from within my pipeline. 
So I have two secrets, Azure credentials, and the second one is the subscription ID because I need both in my pipeline. So I will use this and from the login to Azure uh, task right here. So this means that now my pipeline is logged in. So all the tasks below, they will be able to access my Azure subscription using the identity from Azure credentials, which is the identity actually for the service principle. And because the service principle have contributor roles, so it can create resources and it also can create resource group. And that's what I'm doing here through the action Azure slash CLI. I want to use, uh, I want to sh uh, show the version of the Azure CLI use it here. And then I'm creating a new resource group with the name resource group that is the variable that I've created uh, earlier right here. And then specifying a location West Europe, for example. After that, I go to before deploying the bicep template into Azure, which are done by this by this task. I'm using another task, which is deployment what if action. So this task will help me to preview the changes that will be made by the bicep template before deploying the template itself. So it will tell me, for example, hey, pay attention to this template, or if you deploy this template, it will make these changes. It will create a new app service, for example, it will delete a database, so pay attention to these operations. Uh, that's uh, previewing the changes. So here we pass the uh, subscription ID. It will need the resource group and the bicep template, of course. And we can also override some parameters like the web app name, which is a variable that uh, I have from within my bicep template. And then once we go to uh, deploying the template, the bicep template, I use here the arm deploy task. This one again will take the add subscription ID and it will need the resource group to deploy the template that needs the template itself the, and the parameters. Note here we don't specify the credentials for Azure because again those are using the same credentials that were, were set up by the uh, task uh, Azure login. The credentials are specified only here. Great, let's see how this works. So now from here if I go to actions I should be able to see or to view all the uh, GitHub uh, workflows that I've created. So I have two because I have two pipelines. If I go to this first one that I have created, I should see here the history of my runnings right here. So for the first time, because I have enabled also um, running manually the pipeline, I would have this message here saying workflow dispatch event trigger. I can go to run it manually. So I can go to say run workflow. And that's because I just have this simple uh, line in my pipeline workflow dispatch. So that will go to run the pipeline manually for me. Let's give it a few seconds before it will start. It's good to refresh the page. And then here it is, we can see our pipeline started running. If I click on it to view the uh, job with the, all the tasks, I can go to that single job from this pipeline and you can see the different tasks started running. So first we'll check out the application source code, then we'll make the login to Azure using my service principle. Then it's creating the resource group and then now it's previewing the changes that will be made. And in the changes here, it shows me here that is when resource to be modified and no one to and one to, um, to there will not be any change to the other one here because I have already run this pipeline before. So it shows me only one to create. But if it's the first time you run this pipeline, you should see that the changes will be to create two new resources. Great. And once after previewing the changes, the task below will go to deploy that bicep template into Azure. So it did actually did that successfully from here and my pipeline did run successfully. Now, if I go to my Azure subscription and if I go to refresh, I should see a resource group called uh, GitHub Actions. And from within this resource group, I should be able to see my two resources, which are the web app and the app service plan. The tasks that we have used today, like Azure Login, Azure CLI, and Deployment, What If, and RM Deploy, are all available as open source projects within GitHub itself. So here we have the link for the RM Deploy, which is managed as a project in, uh, in uh, GitHub, with the link for the marketplace to view it inside the marketplace. And then we have uh, the action for deployment what if, for example, which we can see it here exactly from the GitHub marketplace where we can also 
view lots and lots of other extensions either created by Microsoft or by third party um, uh, developers and organizations. So we have different categories for this and we can use it in our pipelines. I hope you liked this video. Thank you.